I'm Molly and I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I've been creating my music since I was about 10 or 11 years old. Um, my mum was a singer-songwriter so I grew up with it in my house and uh, my dad was also a music teacher so it was kind of one of those things that I just fell into and have never really looked back ever since. Um, tonight I'll be showcasing a mix of new stuff, old stuff um, and stuff that I've only you know just been working on recently so it's a good platform to to try out new songs um, raw. The thing that interests me about my own music is um, keeping myself uh, keeping on challenging myself so whether that means incorporating different styles and genres and um, I have a lot of different influences so I'm sure they all come through at some point in my music and um, I think it's just about stretching yourself creatively um, that's really important to me. Um, I draw my inspiration from um, a lot of artists uh, that were in the 60s and 70s, so I'm a huge Beatles fan and I love Bob Dylan, I love the band. Um, I love a lot of modern music too, a lot of modern Australian music like um, Dan Sultan and Clary Brown and the Banger Rackets are really cool. They're a great outfit, they're really great live and I think there's just so much that we can take from our own country in terms of inspiration and I try to do that. Sometimes um, I record my mum's music, so I might have a couple of spots on an album or an EP that need filling, and I'll go to Mother Dearest and I'll say, Mum, can you please chuck a song my way? And she'll say, of course. Um, pay me the royalties, and I'll say there aren't any. Um, but yeah, that, that's probably something a lot of people don't know unless they ask, or if they look at the like fine print on the EP, the credits. Um, um, I've been so inspired by my mum's music, and so it's really exciting to be able to record it from time to time. Um, generally, it's really good feedback. Thankfully, I don't hear the bad feedback. Um, but I think for me, because I do a lot of solo work, I mean, it's so... Uh, there's that word again, it's so raw um, that people really kind of get involved in the experience a little bit more and they'll be more likely to come up and have a chat and talk to you about your music and maybe grab a CD and I like to give away a lot of my music for free to people because I think if they've taken the time to come and see me I'd like to give something back and generally that's met with a good response. Uh, my aspirations for the next few years, I would like to to tour more. Um, I'd like to keep on recording. I mean recording and playing live are the two most important things that you can do because they get you actively out um, into communities and um, getting music out means that you're always growing, always nurturing your sound, um, always developing and so those are the two really big ones. I mean I'd love to do more international touring too but um, the most important thing is keeping it local and um, recording more music. Um, best place to get some more information about me would be on my Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Molly Conta George Music. My name is Molly and I'm a raw artist.